how to choose a term insurance policy because the next question is there are so many options available all are having the same things how should i choose this is a question you should uh, if you are looking for this video will answer your question hi hello this is ganesh anthuru your stock market profit coach i help you in multiplying your money by investing in stock market this is my books one page stock market plan which will help you in investing in stock market with just one page template okay so but you need to read the complete book so just go and check it out in the description for if you want to buy your book so how do you verify this term insurance is good enough to buy or that in term insurance good enough to buy first of all term insurance is part of a life insurance and this is the first thing you should take whatever comes in your life uh, if you're just starting your career or whatever they will be coming and giving you with so many policies you will have uh, some term some guaranteed insurance policies and so many things above all just go with first term insurance let me complete this term insurance and then come for you live for uh, whatever 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 the people says because this video is fully focused on term insurance the first thing you should take in your life is term insurance till now if you haven't taken go and take term insurance and while taking term insurance what are the things you should consider for example if your salary is around 10 lakhs per year it's easy for you to take get around 1 crore if you are around 25 it's very easy for you to get 1 crore policy and based upon your age based upon your salary yearly salary your uh, coverage will go up and down okay and you should be uh, fit enough fit enough in the sense you should not have diabetes abcd the asthma uh, bp blood pressure uh, cholesterol and finally the diabetes the abcd should not be there if it is there it will be rejected the first and foremost and my sincere request uh, please take it well below 30 because it's easy to and nowadays it's like if you're not having blood pressure people ask you are you sure have you checked when have you checked Uh, if you say i am don't have diabetes people will say are you sure is your father having diabetes for sure you will get it just go and check it right now so this is the comments you will be getting it right so if that is the case just go and take a policy right now if you are fit enough if you have got any one of this automatically your policy will be rejected until the lifetime you will not be given policy and at times some of the companies will give you loading at loading in the sense say your insurance premium comes around 20000 but based on the diabetes and based on the blood pressure your premium will be uh, maybe around 20 30% extra not first year every year you need to pay the same amount okay but the 30% extra why do you want to pay right so instead just go and take right now and if you ask me i have a diabetes should i go and take 30% extra please go ahead because you are at huge risk you are not taking care of your health and who will take care of your family if you are no more this risk related don't take any risk with respect to the risk and for your family right so just go and take it out if you consider you want to protect your family financially in your absence that is the case just go 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 and take and uh, finally uh, the, the, not finally before that the what are the companies available the icici prudential hdfc aegon tata ae there are kotak mahindra lic so many companies are there just remember between uh, private and public anything is fine because it is all the companies are governed by irda regulations irda regulations for sure will protect you from anything in life in the sense you no more if a, if it has been informed automatically the claim will be settled uh, within a prescribed time i think a week or two weeks maximum if there is anything uh, any reports is needed maybe in a month's time not more than that they will delay and i had personally seen if you if you if there is a genuine uh, request automatically it will be settled irrespective of the company certain claim settlement ratios will be around 90% 80% or 85% or 97% based upon uh, uh, the improper filing some cases the uh, miss filings also happens so just because of that it may be delayed but if you look at top companies uh, lic kotak kotak or hdfc or icic or aegon or tata ae all are having more than 95 97% it means that almost 97% of the claim is settled uh, so you don't need to worry should i go for public sector or private sector because everything is governed by rda irda is a regulatory authority so your claim will be settled so your uh, first doubt is clarified right so go for anything because if you go for private sector like uh, hdfc or icic or tata ae or aegon based on the policy your premium will be ready, uh, will come down like anything but if you go for lic the premium will always be 10 to 20% extra you need to pay so this is the number one thing 
and along with that they, they also provide so many riders riders in the sense critical illness policy and terminal illness uh, waiver premium waiver and personal accident policy double the coverage if the premium is extra premium is paid all these are extra riders they used to add so if you are uh, say your term insurance comes around 15000 all these riders if you add each and everything and it will come to around 25000 so just remember that these riders are extra benefits if you want you can go and take it out it's not cheating if you want you can go and take it out ask the benefit beforehand and take the policy along with the riders if you are really really in need for example critical illness if you are taking a separate policy and these are the critical illness which is as per uh, right now okay so for example icic is having a critical illness rider so right now for the next 20 years uh, whatever the term insurance you are taking these critical illness alone will be covered after 5 years what will happen we don't know right so in that case if you are taking a policy with critical illness rider if anything happens among these 34 things you will be uh, always settled uh, 10% generally it will be extra premium extra coverage will be there it will be settled out and uh, if anything extra comes up based on the policy revision depending upon the policy it will be changing so but the premium is going to be same but if you are taking a separate critical illness policy policy that is a separate thing so going for that every 5 years because you are grow, going to grow right from 25 will become 30 35 40 so once in 3 to 5 years automatically the premium will change and you will always be increasing premium from 5000 rupees it may go to 7000 10000 everything every year it will every 3 to 5 years it will keep increasing so my request is uh, if it is if at all it is a rider just ask with the co- company whether it is really needed what are the things included after 10 years if any new new critical illness will be added up all these things you you ask them and for extra 3000 or 4000 will be given double the coverage so instead of 1 crore you may be eligible only for 1 crore based on your ctc but you want 2 crores the simple thing is pay extra 3000 4000 you will be given a coverage of 2 crore so these are all extra benefits you can take and edulwise is giving a uh, spouse benefit meaning uh, if you are opting for the rider you need to pay extra 400 or 500 for that benefit your spouse will be covered almost like uh, 50% of the of your coverage for suppose you are taking a 1 crore policy your spouse will be covered for 50 lakhs just with uh, extra 500 rupees or few hundred rupees uh, though she is not working and this is purely dependent upon male men should be the higher uh, age should be higher so based on that the policy coverage is provided so this is how you choose a term insurance any policy just check it out check the claim settlement ratio any any agent or if you go to policybazaar.com they will be giving you everywhere it will be provided you go and check it out and after that check the premiums don't go by premium here it is less here it is there more but check whether the policy uh, details are almost same because most of them suppose if the first time hdfc is coming up means then within next 2 to 3 months icic will be launching the new policy so that is how they they are launching so all these things will say that uh, whether you are uh, getting a taking a better term insurance or not so my request whatever it is go and take uh, even if it is if your coverage is coming around 30 lakhs or 50 lakhs whatever just go and take it out and there are policies return on premium is available which means after 80 years you'll be given a return on premium so we will t- talk about that in the some some other uh, uh, video maybe tomorrow so why it is really useful or not we will discuss in some other thing so pr term insurance that is a thing i'll show it practically with calculation so do you really need that kind of policy or should you leave it up okay thank you so much for watching just go and take a term insurance purely thank you